Hi, I'm Jacqueline. I'm Courtney, and this is Caffeinated Crimes. So this is our second edition of our Missing Person series. Um, we're hoping to do these roughly once a month or so, um, just kind of highlighting a few people who are currently missing. So hopefully getting their stories and their information out there. So if anyone listening has seen them, you can report it and hopefully get some of these people home. Yeah. And again, if you know of any um, actively missing persons, especially if they are you know, like between the ages of like 18 and like 60 ish, if they're a man, person of color, especially those, I mean, not saying we will not talk about Mm -hmm. children or white women, but just right now we're going to focus on those since those are ones that get less attention. Um, So if you could just send us any of those you have, um, we would be happy to cover them. Um, So let's get on into this. So David Byron Brown was last seen by his mother leaving his residence in the 200 block of West Newcomb Street in Alcoa, Tennessee, on February 12, 2004. Um, He left on foot around 10 a.m., and he never returned and was never seen again. Um, David does have a criminal history, and authorities believe foul play could be involved in his disappearance. Um, He was last seen wearing a hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and sneakers slash tennis shoes, and he's between 5'8 and 5'11 and around 165, 175 pounds. That is was in 2004 when he went missing, um, and he was 39, and he has a scar on his left calf. Um, And that was from the Charlie Project, so if you know anything please go there and try to report. And James Bradshaw was last seen on September 10th, 2021 in the Lindell area of Rome, Floyd County, Georgia. Um, He had been dropped off by a family member on Branham Avenue, and he does have a tattoo of his initials JKB on his upper right arm. He also has a tattoo on his shoulder blade of a heart with the names Ashley, Madison, and Jasmine. He was last seen wearing blue jeans and a t-shirt. The Rome Police Department is asking for any assistance in locating James or any information regarding his disappearance. He was 41 years old at the time of his disappearance, and he was six foot and around 180 pounds with dark brown hair and brown eyes. Um, And he is listed on FBI's, um, the FBI's website for missing persons. And at approximately 7 p.m. on Sunday, August 16th, 2015, Jerica Lizette Laws left her home in Park Forest, Illinois, to go for a walk and meet with someone, Um, and that person has never been identified, and she's not been seen or heard from since. Um, Jerica did not carry her purse, and she did not have any money or identification in her possession at the time of her disappearance. Um, She did only recently move to Park Forest after living in um, Indianapolis and Spencer, Indiana area for two years. And according to family members, she did have an undiagnosed mental disability, and she was 24 at the time of her disappearance. She is 5'2 and likely 140 pounds at the time of her disappearance. She had brown eyes and, again, at the time of her disappearance, had black shoulder-length hair. She is also on, like, the FBI VICAP missing persons website as well. Um, So if you know anything about her or about James or David please reach out to the appropriate parties. We'll put it in the show mm-hmm. notes. We'll post yep. the things on um, social media. Just if you happen to know any information about these three people. Yes. We really appreciate your help and hopefully we can get their information out there and either get them home or get some information about where they might be. Yeah, definitely. Um, but in the meantime, go have a cup of coffee and don't commit a crime. <laughs>